appeals, I think, for two reasons. First off, because he's got a very good sense of humour, and women get very attracted to a sense of humour, somebody they could feel they could have fun with. Um, but also, he appeals to a sort of maternal instinct with Robbie Williams, because yeah. there is a very vulnerable side to him that makes you kind of want to just give him a hug. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm quite surprised and quite pleased that he's still there and at the top. And I would have thought that uh, he maybe sort of people who have come a little bit more recently would be up there, but I know, it's good for Robbie. He's the guy that men hate. He gets <laughs> women out of the audience, do you think? That is just the cheesiest thing I've ever seen. And then he kisses them. But and he then does he goes, cheese very well. Yeah, he's a cheese ball, basically. <laughs> you know, he's the type of, type of guy that everyone really hates if you're a man, but you hate him because really, you think he's all right. But, yeah, and the thing is about Justin Timberlake is actually, he's not the best looking boy out there really no. but he's my goodness when you put the package together he's very sexy and I think it is it comes down to dancing women like men who can move mm. yeah and now whether that is something that they're they're taking the, the ability to move and then imagining what that might be in other settings that, <laughs> that song belies the, the relationships he's had in the last few mm. years he's had a lot of public relationships with glamour models and things like that yeah good on him well done for writing the song <laughs> that's all I say Will Young at five. Now that's an odd one because just... you couldn't get more camp than Will Young. Nice guy. I know. And I envy him in so many ways, but not for his prowess with the ladies. I don't know whether it's just a challenge to see if, uh, for women to see if I could turn him. Yeah. But again, he, he appeals very much to a maternal instinct to women as well because he's a very nice guy. And again, you can imagine going out and having a good evening with him. Now, for me, this guy's number one. <laughs> There's no denying this. Tom Jones, the trouser snake himself. The man, the perennial dark-haired lover, I mean, he's got it all, right? He has. He's even gone grey now and he's still sexy. Yeah. And there is something about the presence of Tom Jones. You know, he is very at ease with himself and he is very at ease with his sexuality as well. Uh, and so even though he's now, you know, a bit of an older man, he mm. still has immense charisma. He's a bit like attraction. Aslan, I've always thought. <laughs> yes. A bit like a musical Aslan. <laughs> really? Really, I'm, quite I'm quite surprised by Errol Brown. I mean, I mean, people would remember Hot Chocolate, but yeah. I'm surprised so many people re remembered that Errol Brown is the, it, lead, it's singer the lead singer and were, would say that he is the man well, for them. Maybe his music has done it for him. Um, shall we say the modern Errol Brown, Kanye West? Is that going too far? <laughs> Is that baby face something? Baby face can, yes, because again, it's this thing of it being slightly boyish and, and uh, a feeling that this is somebody who's potentially attainable, yeah. not too, you know, quite soft. It would seem to be soft and cuddly and needs looking after. Yeah. He's still there. Yeah. You know, he's been here for decades. Cliff Richards at 10. Will he ever drop out of the top 10? He's timeless. <laughs> I mean, there's going to be people who will be searching for, for forums so that they can vote for him, right? Because he's so popular. He's with... got staying power. I mean, you know, he's very popular out there and he's been going for a long time. And actually, he, physically, he's looking in good shape. So there it is. That's probably the main test of time. Be nice, be happy, <laughs> be kind, be successful and have a number one hit every decade for the last 50 years. <laughs> good luck, guys.